happy to be on the Trump team, and I look forward to working with him. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chris. Great honor. I even got this fat piece of crap behind me now. <laughs> Isn't that right, Chris? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Please, sir, may I have another? The media and others want to hold Mr. Trump to a different standard. Mr. Trump has talked about the idea of making sure we restore NSA authority, that there won't be any question about Mr. Trump's strength, and that's what will happen when Mr. Trump's president. How did you know I was talking about Mr. Trump? When Mr. Trump declared his candidacy, he has shown himself to be tough, and strong and bold. You need a strong, tough leader to restore America's greatness. You just saw one strong man on that stage, and that was Donald Trump. Turn to a professional, strong leader. That's who this man is. Tonight is the beginning of Donald Trump bringing the Republican Party together for a big victory this November. Your national finance co-chair says that your endorsement of Donald Trump, an astonishing display of political opportunism. What's Show. the answer to the how? That's the standard oh, that's you innocent. set. Well, you know that Mexico's not going to pay. The Before you were opposed to tariffs, that's what he's talking I, about. I, so you're I, disagreeing I, with Donald Trump. Well, well, excuse me, let me answer, George. Donald Trump and I are not going to agree on every issue. That expression on Chris Christie's face may have stolen the show. Some on Twitter said Christie looked like he'd been taken hostage. I mean, he really is a sad, desperate little potato back there, aren't you, Chris? I wasn't being held hostage. No, I wasn't sitting up there thinking, oh my God, what have I done? Oh my God, what have I done? It is my honor and my privilege to introduce the next president of the United States, Donald Trump. Get in the plane and go home. You got over there. You go home. The, the fact is that um, desperate people do desperate things. And I've seen it throughout politics, and so have you. 